Hey guys, so today is going to be a super, super, super quick, I'm hoping, <laughs> April favorites, and I'm sorry this is up like extremely late. I literally really haven't been like super busy with school, I just have had a lot going on, little things that have kept me tied up after work and stuff, I really haven't had time to come home and film videos. So, I graduate tomorrow, <laughs> I actually had my rehearsal graduation tonight, so after this it should be... Of course, I have to study for my NCLEX, but it should be fairly good with the videos <laughs> going on here. So I did want to go ahead and do an April favorites because I know I'm going to have some different stuff for May. Um, but I was using this stuff pretty much the entire month of April because I was always in a rush. And I really just wanted to get in and out <laughs> the door quite quickly. I'm actually going to start off with makeup because I have a little bit more makeup this month than I usually do, which is still not a lot, but more. The first thing is a powder. I have been loving the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Press Powder. This is in just transparent. This is supposed to be shine control. It's supposed to be really good at absorbing oils, and I absolutely love it for a setting powder. And I don't know if you guys can see, but if I show you real closely, you can kind of see where I'm, like, the pan of it. I'm fixing to hit pan, and there was quite a lot of product in here. And I just really feel like even when I'm not wearing any foundation, like today it's all I'm wearing I don't have anything underneath. I have a little bit of concealer under my eyes, but nothing else besides this powder. I just love the matte finish that it gives my skin, and it's very finely milled, so it goes evenly and fills in those fine lines and wrinkles. Wrinkles? <laughs> those fine lines and pores is what I meant to say. Um exactly how I need it to. I have literally only been using one blush highlight combo this en entire past month and that has been Max Dainty. This is a mineralized blush. This is actually the very very first blush I ever purchased from MAC. Actually I think it's the only the first blush I ever purchased period and this was because when I first got on to get a bleh, <laughs> when I first got into YouTube, it was just an easy go-to. My best friend Heidi ha at the time, this was what the only blush she owned as well. There's the color there. It's like a peachy pink, and it was just really nice and a universal color. So literally, I have it on today. This is literally the only thing I've been wearing. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour blush in the color Angelic. And this is actually one of the mini ones from the holiday pack. You can tell like it doesn't have a mirror or anything. And it is a highlight. So I'm not sure if you can see how much I've actually used it. Like one side of the river is almost entirely gone. And this is just, I'm wearing it again today. And it's just a really pretty nice highlight. You can see there that the combo go really well together. It blends nicely and it gives you that nice sheen on the face without being too overpowering and two like bam sparkle in your face. I actually have three lip favorites this month which is not rare for me. I have a ton of lip products. The first one is a vibrant lipstick and this is from the Maybelline Vivids line. This is in the color Vivid Rose and it was so funny. I had a subscriber. She either left a comment or she emailed me or something and is like why is everyone pronouncing it Wild Rose? The name of it is Vivid Rose and I'm like Hey, look at that. She sure is right. And I just, I have bad eyesight. So to me, it looks like Wild Rose until you look really carefully. And it actually is 875 Vivid Rose. So yeah, love this color. This is a very vibrant color. I actually have a face of the day around this entire color. I was wearing like a bright colored shirt. I'll post a link up here to it in case you guys are interested or you missed that video. But I wear this sparingly because you can definitely make it as vibrant or you want. Or you can kind of dab it on and make it just like a stain, which is what I've been doing. I haven't really been wearing it this bright, except like in that video or if I'm going out. I usually will just dab it on my lips and then blend it out. And it gives you like a nice pinky reddish stain to your lips, and that's how I've enjoyed wearing it. The next lip favorite that I have is the NYX Mega Light, Mega, uh, I can't even talk, <laughs> Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the color 129 Beige. And it's clearly not a beige color. It is a, like, mauve colored pink. And I love this color. I've actually had this lip gloss for a little while now. It's that color right there. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. It's very opaque, as you can see. It does sheer out quite nicely on the lips if you need it to. And I just, it's been a great go-to moisturizing lip gloss for me to carry around in my purse. Last lip favorite, I actually have it on right now, or one of them on right now. I haven't talked about these 
ever, <laughs> actually. A love tart. Her name's Mary here on YouTube. She had talked about these in a video a long, long time ago, and it made me go on the hunt to find them. And these are the Jordana Easy Shine Glossy Lip Colors. You can get them wherever Jordana sold. Like I know for me, Jordana sold out my Walgreens. Um, I don't know where else other than that. You guys may be able to tell each other. I have three colors. I'm The color I'm wearing right now is Raspberry, which is just a glossy, pinky, purple color. And then um, it's that one right there. And then I also have Watermelon Juice, which is exactly how it sounds, like a watermelon color. This one's actually really nice to carry in the purse because it can be built up to that color, but it actually is very sheer when it goes up. And these are super moisturizing, so this is a good one to have in the purse. And I think these are only like $1.99, not bad at all. This one is Sweet Strawberry, which is a red color. And actually, it can be built up pretty nicely to that color right there. But if you just do one swipe, it is not the most opaque red I've ever seen. So you can definitely get away with this like on an everyday type wear. Okay, last makeup favorite is actually my Z palette. And this I got off of zpalette.com. It's a cheetah print. I actually want to go back and buy a bunch more because... You guys know, or if you don't know, I am pregnant, and I'm expecting in October, and this is going to be Emily's room, which is our daughter right now, <laughs> if, if you're just joining me and you don't know this information, um, this is going to be Emily's room, and her the old room is going to be the nursery, so I have to move my makeup stuff into my bedroom, which is totally fine. I'm I'm very okay with it. It'll actually be more convenient for me because it'll it'll be right there when I'm getting ready in the morning. Um, but off off topic, <laughs> the whole point of that is because I have to move my makeup into a corner of my make of my bedroom. I want to try and condense my makeup down as much as I can. So within the next couple of weeks, I still I have a bunch of stuff over there just piling up for a blog sale. Within the next couple of weeks, definitely be on the lookout for that. I will tweet it, Facebook it, and post a video here on YouTube about it. Um, but I definitely want to condense my makeup collection as much as I can. And that includes buying some more Z palettes and completely depotting everything that I own because I love 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 this thing this is awesome like this is my drugstore Z palette so it's just a regular one not the professional size or anything I have one two three four five six seven eight nine drugstore quads most of them are quads or trios that I have put in here so I condensed nine palettes into this one palette and I just think it's awesome and I also have a bunch um, of my elf blushes in this other Z palette I showed you guys this before this actually has 10 of the elf studio line $3 blushes so I for sure want to pick up a few more of these Z palettes so that I can condense my makeup collection even further like I plan on depotting every single blush that I own. It's just easier if I have stuff in a palette form like this. I just I just want it all condensed. That way I can also use it a lot more. Like these shadows, I have done nothing but use them this past month. Um, this one in particular, this is one of the Revlon quads. I should have saved the name. I don't think that I did. Um, but these two colors, in, these three colors in particular, that's I have it on as an inner corner highlight. That one is in the inner like third of my eye and then this one's on the outer third and then I have this taupey color from the stylish smokes quad from Maybelline that taupey color in my crease and this like beigeish color as a highlight and then I have the outer corner from the stylish smokes quad right there the chocolate brown in my outer V and I just I love it. <laughs> I've gotten more use out of these shadows since I've depotted them into the Z palette than I ever did when they were by themselves. So I would highly, highly recommend these. And I bought this, didn't get sent it for free. Um, and I'm definitely going to be purchasing some more. And when I go through that depotting phase, definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see what I turn into these. <laughs> Last beauty item is a set of shampoo and conditioner and I actually showed this to you guys maybe in another favorites video. Definitely the haul video. It's a Tresemme Keratin Smooth uh, Shampoo and Conditioner and I actually have been using this for probably two 
two months now, maybe a month and a half. I'm almost out of them, actually. I, I feel like I have more conditioner than shampoo, which never happens. But, um, yeah, I'm almost out of them. But I absolutely have loved this. I feel like it has made such a difference in my hair. My hair has just gotten ridiculously long. Like, I... I mean, it's curled now, so it doesn't even seem that long, but when it's straight, it goes past my bra line, and I mean, I just cut it not too long ago, so it has to be because of the prenatals and stuff like that, but I feel like this shampoo and conditioner has definitely strengthened my hair and given it more shine overall, and I also feel like when I curl it or when I blow dry it, it's just so much easier to manage. So, loving these. If you haven't tried them, I highly recommend picking them up. The last thing that I have been loving this month no joke, has been Candy Crush, and I am absolutely obsessed, obsessed with this game. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's this game right here that kind of looks like Candyland, where you play like the, let me see if I can get to a level, you play the little thing where you move them and you get like points and stuff like that. I had just been obsessed with this game and honestly I don't even know where I heard about it because I, I think it was Twitter. I heard somebody complaining about it how they'd never play that game like haven't you heard of such and such and I'm like I wonder what that is what game that is so of course I had to go check it out and I love Bejeweled and it reminds me of Bejeweled and I have just been obsessed five lives is not enough I tweeted this the other day I've been so obsessed it's like if I run out of lives I <laughs> feel the need to post it on Facebook so I can get more lives but I don't think I'm gonna be that crazy I don't need to tell everyone that I'm a freak when it comes to this game but non-stop no matter where I'm at I'm constantly playing it my phone has been dying because I keep playing it so in fact when I'm done filming I'll probably go play it but <laughs> that's that that was my entire favorites I know it wasn't too much but I just missed you guys I couldn't help but ramble a lot I'm actually gonna go ahead and film another pregnancy vlog update I hope you guys have been joining my join did I say join enjoying enjoying my vlog channel. If you're not subscribed to my vlog channel, I will post the link down below. Um, it's HKD Vlogs, simple. I do follow me around vlogs, pregnancy vlogs now, and just anything I really want to do. I've been trying to keep up with it a little more. <laughs> I can't promise it'll stay like that, but I'm trying, especially having the whole summer off, not having much to worry about. I'm definitely going to get back in the groove of things. So I thank you guys so much for all the tweets and Facebook messages and everything congratulating us on the pregnancy and being so supportive with school and everything and sticking with me. I really do appreciate it. And let me know down below what you guys' favorites for the month of April was. And again, I'm super sorry this is so late. But I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!